Italians are casting their ballots in parliamentary elections that could shape the future of one of Europe's biggest economies. Among the candidates, a comedian looking to make inroads and a disgraced former prime minister trying to make a political comeback. As Tom Popic tells us, a third of voters are undecided, but most agree Italy is in deep trouble. Gripped by winter and an economic freeze, Italy headed to the polls, deeply divided and pessimistic. I think that nothing will change, this voter says. Outgoing Prime Minister Mario Monti, the architect of Italy's austerity plan, now trails in the polls. Democratic Party leader Pier Luigi Bissani is expected to win and form a left of center coalition with Monti. Former leader Silvio Berlusconi, now on trial accused of having sex with an underage prostitute, is attempting a comeback. <laughs> the billionaire faced protests today, but his right-wing support is growing. The most important element is whether the, there will be a majority, a solid majority. If there's instability, we'll be standing here in the square in six months' time again talking about the same things. The wild card, a newcomer. Comedian turned politician Beppe Grillo is riding a wave of popularity, tapping into anger of a 36% unemployment rate and frustration with Italian politics as usual. Even if we send only few honest people in the parliament, there will be panic for them. The, the Grillo movement, uh, the five star movements, uh, might uh, do the incredible uh, feat of uh, receiving. 20% uh, of the votes and be the second party in, uh, in, in these elections. But a protest vote poses risks for all of Europe. The EU and investors have made Italy the front line of this economic crisis. Political instability here could shatter continental recovery. Tom Poppett, Global News.